Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to collect emails on your WordPress website using some simple and effective strategies. Whether you're looking to grow your email list for marketing purposes or to stay in touch with your website visitors, these tips will help you boost your email collection efforts and increase your chances of success. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So the first thing that you'd like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow the tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you, such as Google Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Brave Like Me, or I don't know, whatever browser you have. Once you open this, go to this URL section and make sure to type wordpress.com and hit the enter button and that will take you to this page directly which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on wordpress.com of course if you have an account make sure to click at this login at the top right corner and enter your email address or username then click at continue of course you can even log in with your google or apple if you want and if you don't have an account you can actually go and click at create a new account and here you'll have to enter your email address username and choose a password for yourself you can also create your account with Google and Apple. Once you do that, of course, you will have to get into your local host right away. For me, I have WordPress already installed into my PC, so I will just get into the dashboard of my local host directly. Once I do that, of course, for you, you'll have to go to plugins here on this left and click at add new. Once you're here, just go to search plugins and type Ninja and as you can see, you'll find this Ninja Forms, Kitsax Forms, drag and the Drop Forms Builder. Make sure to click on Install now for you. For me, it's already installed. Once it's installed, click on Activate. Once it's activated, you'll find the Ninja Forms here on this left panel right here. Once you click on it, you will have this option Add New. So from here, you will have you will be able to collect your emails on your WordPress website. Of course, you'll have just to connect your website with this. But the main thing or the main line is by clicking at this add new, of course, let's just uh, add and contact us email as an example. So here we'll add a name as an example. Let's just add name. Of course, you can edit the, the label if you want of the email. You can edit the label. You can edit display. You can edit whatever you want. So make sure to edit whatever you want. And of course, the emails that you will collect as you can see from here, people will write their names, their emails, and their messages right here. And simply by clicking add submit, they're going to be done. Of course, here there's even the emails and actions. Make sure to enable this record submission, email confirmation, and email notification, this success message. Of course, every action has its own settings if you want to uh, look about it. Of course, there's this advanced option. In here, you have the display settings restrictions and calculations and we have here additional settings like pdf submissions safe progress styles conditional logic multi parts and scheduled export of course if we click add display settings as an example as you can see we'll be able to edit a lot of options here on the display settings that will work at the same on restrictions of course you can edit whatever you want here so make sure to go step by step on this and edit whatever you want as you can see on this additional settings, once I click on this PDF submissions, in order to use this action, you'll need PDF submissions for Ninja Forms. You'll have to generate a PDF of any WordPress form submission and export any submission as PDF or attaches to an email and send a copy to whoever needs one. Of course, if you need to add some, make sure to do what they are saying here. If you want to add some styles as an example, you'll have to go and learn more. So for us, we'll have to click on done and publish now you'll have to connect this into your website and you will certainly con collect emails from here from this contact us option of course there is not just the contact us option as you can see there is a lot of options there is the like the collects feedback as you can see in this collects feedback option you have here people will enter their first name last name email and of course the email is this optional option 
as you can see when we you will see like here a red star and that means which is not optional this is mandatory to fill and of course once people fill if they want they can fill their first name last name this is just optional uh, how would you rate our last news later and how would you rate our last blog article of course those are just mandatory which is optional or sorry just optional which is mandatory is this email option because without it you will not be able to collect emails so make sure to make this email section mandatory so you can collect emails because as we said this is the most important part of course again you can edit not just this form field you can edit emails action if you want and even advanced options you can publish it and let's just wait until it's published and here we are if you click on next as you can see we'll have this feedback option and two of contacts me if you want to contact or to collect more emails don't let just to add all of those as you can see there's those regular templates and those additional templates of course let's say as an example now you would like to add a job application make sure to make this email mandatory as well if you make it mandatory as you can see required field if you enable this option it will be mandatory and people will not be able to submit anything without entering the email the email will be mandatory and that's how you will collect emails again so of course here they will have to fill their first name last name email which is mandatory and all the other stuff are just optional of course if you want to make any other thing uh, optional let's say as an example like the job uh, description previous job description make sure to enable this required field option so it's gonna be mandatory so if they did not fill this option they will not be able to submit their job application of course any mandatory thing you would like to have it make sure to have this enabled and once you're done click on x leave and of course i didn't publish it so let me just go back because i didn't click on publish once it's published click on x and it will be very published now i have here four uh, actually just three this first one i was just trying so i have three forms here that i can collect emails from and of course i can always add more if i want I cannot just add forms, I can add services, apps, and integrations, and user access. But to collect actually emails, you will need just these forms, so make sure to add as many as possible to collect a lot. So in conclusion, collecting emails on your WordPress website is essential for building your email list and staying connected with your audience. By implementing simple strategies such as adding a sign-up form, offering incentive and optimizing landing pages and etc as i show you here you can effectively collect emails and grow subscriber space don't underestimate the power of email marketing and start collecting emails today so this will be actually for this tutorial i hope you like it thank you guys for watching goodbye